Hi everybody, welcome to episode nine. Let's do this. So the last time around we got uh, we got ourselves armed and armored as well. Uh, what I want to do today is um, see if I can um, make some more power. I don't want to really uh, generate power using uh, steam engines. Um, maybe steam engines, but definitely not internal combustion en engines, I think. As you can see, our uh, core is still crawling along. Um, what we do have is our solar panels are generating um, up to 16 RFs um, per tick. So what I want to do is I want to make a bunch more solar panels that should hopefully help us um, uh, mining during the day. So let's have a look at so our solar panels. So a solar panel one takes a bunch of mirrors that takes glass and an iron, tin, uh, aluminium or another aluminium thing. Okay. Mostly what we need really is lots of glass and solar panel two, of course, needs a rest reception coil which needs gold ingots. So what I want to do is I want to make a nice load of glass and uh, see where that takes us. Um, of course, to make glass, I need to go and keep finding um, keep finding sand. So instead of that, what I want to do is I want to um, crush uh, a very abundant resource that is um, uh, cobblestone. I'm going to crush that and generate sand and then immediately bake it into um, into fresh glass. So, in order to do that automatically, I'm going to need to make some machines. So first thing I want is a pulverizer. Now, a pulverizer uh, takes a couple of copper gears, a reception coil, some pistons, some flint. Okay, so I'm going to have to get some gravel for that. And let's have a look at this. This takes a tin gear, um, glass, iron. Okay, so I need four irons. Okay. Well, first things first, let's go get some iron. So let's throw this iron ore in there. Once that melts down, uh, we'll be able to use it first. Yeah. Let me just recover that aluminium block, aluminium grass. <laughs> aluminium glass. taking up too much room in our smeltery. Hello. There's a horse. We only use horses later on uh, if we really want to. Um, I'm not terribly interested at this point. What I want to do is I want to skip straight through, um, build a nuclear reactor, build a power suit, um, and take us away from that. So that's the uh, that's the brass drained. Put that down. Oh, that's cooking. We're actually pretty shy on uh, pretty shy on wood, so I'm gonna go and harvest some more. Okay, how are we doing? That's um, a stack and a bit. Get rid of all this grass, it's just in the way. It's a pretty cool thing about these oak, oak wood trees is that they can grow to be really, really big. All you do is you just uh, cluster the, um, cluster the uh, saplings together. Horses, okay. Right, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like we've just about worn out our hatchet, so better fix that. There we go. seems to have stopped. Oh, okay. It's just gone really slow. Okay, it looks like we have to refuel that. Um, let's throw in this slot. Uh, a bunch of wood. Some more wood. Uh, throw these in. They'll burn up pretty fast. And throw in some lava. Okay. Now, how is our iron? Okay, that's 28 ingots of iron. That should give us um, three blocks, um, nine ingots to the block. So that should be plenty to make our machine blocks. Okay, that's one. Two and a third one. Okay, so there's still more iron ore. That's pretty cool. Um, what do we have most of in order to make our panels with? It looks like we have a glut of tin ore. So let's melt all that stuff down. So more tin, tin, more tin. Yeah, we really have lots. Okay, so let's melt all of that down. Okay. Now well, that's on the way. Let's see. Get rid of these seeds. We don't need those. And um, dump the bone and excess stuff. Okay, we do have a couple of pieces of flint. That would be useful to make the uh, to make the machine with. Make some more bread. There we go. Should keep us reasonably well fed. Okay. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. How is that quarry happening? Okay, it's run out of fuel. What I don't want to do is I don't want to keep feeding these uh, sterling engines and just keep them running while we're not here. What can happen is the uh, quarry will reach the end and the energy in these engines will have nowhere to go. And um, their temperature, their heat will actually reach critical levels. And what can happen is uh, they'll just blow up while we're away. But worse is that um, they may just not blow up until we come here. When we get here and they're dark red, see this blue area, it becomes dark red. As soon as you touch it, it blows up in your face. So I have had that happen, which is why I'm not a big fan of, uh, of Sterling engines. They're useful, they're, use they're useful as an entry level machine, but uh, they can blow you up uh, when you don't expect it. Okay. We are going to need some more chests. So we have some uh, quartz crystals, that's cool. Um, there's no um, there's no charged quartz yet. Ooh, some obsidian. That's cool. We must be getting pretty pretty far down there, next to bedrock at this point. That's probably why the obsidian. It's probably why the quarry is running nice and slow, which is fine. That's fine. We'll just um we'll just expand our um, we'll just expand our quarry when that's done. Okay, how is our tin smelting happening? Good, good. Okay, now 
we'll break the block into individual ingots and then we can start making some panels, uh, some mirrors, I should say. A bunch of mirrors, that's cool. And uh, what happens next? So, so the basic solar panel is mirrors and wood. So we did have plenty of wood. I'm not sure where, ah, there we go. So plenty of wood. Uh, we need some more redstone, here we go. Okay, so redstone, bunch of this stuff, bunch of that stuff, and we have some solar panels. There we go. Get rid of this meat and the apple, that looks cool. Okay, these panels are ready to use, but they only generate about two RFs each, which is fine. I mean, every little bit helps, right? But we will need to replace these with some more efficient panels later on. There we go. So that is generating two RFs. So we have six of these, which gives us 12. This one gives us 14. And then these two give us uh, up to 16 each. So it's 32 in there giving us a grand total of 46. Okay. Okay. Uh, the quarry is still digging. That's cool. But it is going to run out of power in a short while. If it's hitting bedrock at this point, it is likely to, um, to run out of things to dig with at which point we'll be in trouble. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, let's make some machines. So um, get rid of these. So, grass is just getting in the way at the moment. It's missing the visibility. Okay. And get rid of the seeds. Any of those. Let's have a look. Do we have enough iron? We definitely do. Okay. And I believe I dropped the conductance coils somewhere. There we go. Okay. Put the obsidian in there. Okay. Now let's make some machine blocks. Okay. Wrong machine blocks. Machine frames. So basic machine. Uh, right. So this basic machine frame takes a tin gear, some iron ingots, and some stained glass. So let's make some tin gears. Okay, and that's set to tin. Okay, so let's get the ball rolling. So it takes one of these, a bunch of glass, and a bunch of iron. Okay, that's two machine frames. Next, we want to make a pulverizer. Pulverizer takes a machine frame, some copper gears, a reception coil, and a piston. So let's go ahead and make a piston. Piston takes one of these. Um, bronze ingot. Some redstone and a bunch of cobblestone. There we go. So one of those, a couple of pieces of flint. Um, oh, goes right up there. Reception coil. Machine frame. 
course a couple of copper gears. Now copper gears, stone and copper. Okay. So I don't want to mix copper in here. I could I could throw copper in here, but then it would melt and mix with the tin, and then we'd have an alloy, and I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna make copper with ingots. Do we have any copper? We do have copper, but we have nowhere to melt it down with because we filled all of this up. Okay. Let's see. So we have about eight eight buckets of molten tin. We should be able to pour it out. Um, just need to make a tank. So a basic pourable tank is made with one copper and glass. Just as well, we only, we only have uh, one glass left. Sorry, we only have one copper left. Okay, we are running out of benches. Let's make another crafting table. Sweet time. Now, what is happening up here? Okay, quarry's still working away. That's fine. So it has not yet reached bedrock. Hmm. Can't really see very far into that sludge, but just as well because it's going to solidify any lava it runs into. Um, actually, can't cross that. Okay. Some diamonds. Okay, I think I better start emptying these chests. Yeah, definitely. Let's make a bunch more. Digging away again. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Are we done pouring out? Yes, we are. Very nice. Excellent. Whoops. Yeah. Is that all of it? Yes, it is. And we can throw the uh, copper in there. There it goes. Looks there. We need two copper gears. So we're pretty good. Um, but of course, now that we're melting down copper, I may as well. I may as well just pour it out. Actually, save ourselves uh, an iron ingot. That's fine. So we're still clumsy. We have forty-six XP or six point nine percent with this uh, plastic longbow, so it may take a while before we can um, we can call ourselves an expert. Uh, looks like we're going to be leveling up with the arrows a bit sooner. I really do hope that once they uh, once we do level up, we'll make a bit more headway there. Okay, let's make some uh, copper gears then.
Okay, that's one. is a pulverizer. Let's place that somewhere where we can get power from it, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it here. Um, hmm. Which is less than ideal. Let's see if I can get um, some more of that fluid duct, um, flux duct, so we can put a little bit of distance. There we go. So the quarry is stopped. That is cool. So just as well we got here in time because these um, Starling engines are starting to overheat. Okay. So this quarry has reached bedrock and is now full of energy. We got any yellow right. We have a whole lot of uh, copper, we have some silver, some obsidian, a bunch of dirt, some lead, lots of limestone. It does not look like we have found any yellow, right? Gold. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we'll just have to try again. But first, let's, um, let's get some shut eye. Okay, shout out was had. Mm. You know what? I'm really not comfortable putting this pulverizer out there. So I'm just going to put it here instead, where it's nice and accessible, and uh, power it with some solar panels, I suppose. So place that here. Yep, that's cool. Just rearrange this configuration. So, yep. And place some flux ducts here so we can power it okay and now i'm just going to put some solar panels on top now next to this thing i want to put a um i want to put a furnace so it will bake away our goods and uh, a hopper in here that we can throw the stuff in so it will get in there pulverize get into the furnace uh be baked and be thrown out I think, I think, do I want all of my stuff to be baked right away? Probably not, actually. So I might put the furnace here and put a chest here instead. So let's do that. So put a chest here. So hopper will go in here. It will pulverize, dump its contents here. And a hopper will go here. Furnace will go here. And both the results will go in here. Let's go and select this thing, make it input. Uh, this thing will dump its contents like that. Turn the rest off. There we go. Okay. Now let's make some more panels. Do we have? Yes, we have plenty of tin. Uh, we don't have a lot of glass. Um, but that's fine. Well, that's good. We have some glass. So put that here. Put a bunch of those there, make some more. Okay, like that, like that. So these. There we go. It gives us four solar panels, which will give us a grand total of eight RFs. That's not much, but it will do. And we only have enough conduit to, uh, to take power from three. Uh, that doesn't matter. So at the moment, that's that thing is charging. So maximum power is 40 RF. So this thing will completely overpower whatever we're throwing there. But that is fine. That is fine. This is a start. This is a start. Okay. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. 
so next thing we want to do is we'll make a furnace. So an electric furnace, redstone furnace, there we go. Takes a couple of bricks, a couple of copper gears, a redstone reception coil, and some redstone. So let's get that started right away. So take some machine block, a bit of redstone, copper gear, a reception coil, and it takes some copper copper bricks. Have we got any clay left? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we'll bake some of those. So it takes four of these. Oh. There, get the glass cooking away. Okay, so it takes four of these to make a single block of bricks, so we need two brick, two brick blocks. Okay, I'll put the clay away again. Clay is actually quite precious. Uh, it is about as rare as diamonds, but because you find it on the surface, it's quite easy to find because it's always exposed. We still have an aluminium and some iron ingot. We'll drop that off in there. We need another copper gear. It's got to keep harvesting that wheat because uh, we keep getting hungry, especially if uh, especially if we take any damage. Our hunger bar just drops very quickly. So. Okay, that is it. Just need those. Um, just need those bricks. So that's one. Okay, three more to go. lots of bricks place that and we have our very own basic furnace place that don't need that oh do need that not that so that's in that's out so hopper goes here in go the contents out goes the output so this thing's charging nicely let's make some more uh, let's don't flux sticks so let's do flux duct. Two leads, one light, one glass, and redstone. So have we got any more? We don't have any more um, ingots, but that is nice salt. So let's just melt down some more lead. Switch to pouring lead out. Get rid of this with an ingot. That's one. That is two. Okay, so let's have a look. So let's don't flux duct. We need a piece of glass. Oop. And a row and a row. Okay. Be a nice little uh, solar array once we have that all in place. So that's another one that gives us two, four, that gives us eight RFs during the day. Now, shall we test it? Let's see if or polarizing one of these will give us uh, some sand. Excellent. There we have it. Beautiful. So I'll throw this in there. We pulverize all that cobblestone, and as that's being done, we'll pour the sand in here, and we'll be making glass. Very nice. Okay. Right in here, plenty of glass, good stuff. So let's use more of these, more panels like that. And again, six, 
Yeah, we're running low on wood. Let's go cut down some more trees. of wood there. Break this up. That's a panel. That's another six panels. Cool. Okay. So that's nine. That gives us 18 RFs. So that'll power maybe half of one of these. That's cool. And we need some more lid to make some more flux duct. Let's do that. That's one. That's two. Okay, let's make one of those. and expand our solar array. Okay, okay. and so it goes. Uh, now once we have once we have eight of these I believe, then we can combine it with um, then we can combine them into a single panel. So at the moment we have um, we have enough we have uh, ten, but since we're out of time we're going to have to do that next time. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.